Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. Sorry, sound was still down from Fortnite. Um, so, yesterday was the first day of finding Spookwood, and it got glitched out, and had a lot of people getting really nasty inside my comments. Not towards me, but towards the other people inside the game. Um, I have always made it a point to like come and play with you guys in public servers and stuff like that, but that upset a lot of people and I want you guys to know that it's okay. It is okay. I will find another spook tree. But to satisfy that and to calm you guys down, I am in a private server tonight. I just allowed um, two day cycles. So the, the sun starts at like noonish, it goes down, comes back up goes down comes back up and there it is okay so this is this is the second day cycle um yeah we're gonna go see if uh, some spook would have spawned anywhere uh oh by the way while i was waiting i was able to build two more bins uh got a lot of the front cleaned up and uh i'm, I'm probably gonna move that and move move some more things but just so you know we did some cleanup so for all those uh that were freaking out about the uh uh, the mess you're like no code. It's getting messy again. It is okay. I promise <sighs> We're just gonna go for a nice gentle ride today probably get excited if we find some spook wood, but that's what I'm going to do is I'm Gonna be in a private server nice and calm Look at the cherry blossoms in the cherry grove Oh, Get stuck on an oak It's okay a lot of people were just, I don't know, there were a couple of mean comments in there, and I told you guys, like, it's okay. It is okay. Um, that's the message I try and spread, like, all the time, is no matter what happens, you guys are going to see it. I mean, it it happens. Um, something that might set you off a little bit more is to know that I didn't get the tree back either. Oh, wait a second. You guys see that way off over there? There's like, there's the normal clusters of palms and then there's something else standing there. What in the world? If it's over there, I'm not gonna be able to get it. That or that would be a really long wait run. Okay. We'll go look. We will go look. Is that up there? What is, what is that? I couldn't see it. Oh my gosh. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Let's keep going. we got plenty of time. 30 minute episode is, is more than enough time to do the entire run. Oh gosh. I'm looking around in all the uh, normal spots which leads me to forget the uh, obvious spots, like, hey, maybe it's behind that rock. <laughs> now I didn't see it, but it's definitely, it, it will definitely, if you're looking for spook wood or if you're looking for sinister wood, it will definitely stick out amongst everything else around it. Promise. It's like very, very defined. <laughs> And like I said, it can, can spawn pretty much anywhere. Pretty much. Um, it has been found on the this part of the road before. Like, I found it right here one time. Well, I, I didn't find it. I found somebody who had found it. And they they actually chopped it before... Uh... Oh, gosh. All right, make sure we're right on the edge. Take a look this direction. And again, I don't know if it spawns in private servers. It's a little foggy. Not bad. <gasps> there it is, right there. No, I'm just kidding. It's a dead oak tree about to fall down. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Hmm. Don't see anything. 
Alright, let's keep going. We'll go up to the next area. And by the way, it, like, from the back of the truck, it looks like I'm going really fast. So, it's all about perspective. Like, oh my gosh, the code's truck is so fast. But if you zoom out like this, I mean, it's not... It's not really doing too many miles per hour or kilometers per hour than the normal truck does. There's the green box down there. Hi, right, green box. I wonder if it's ever spawned inside the volcano before. That would be a bad damn number. I wonder if it's ever spawned down near the, uh, the um, green box itself. Alright, let's go this direction so we can see across the tops of everything. Uh, anything back there? Nope. And I should probably get out and go look. Oh, oh come on. There we go. Ooh. Nice long walk. Here we go. And thank you for everybody else that's that made comments like, oh my gosh, Code, you stayed so calm. Um, I was frustrated, but at the same time, emotions are very manageable, and you can mention them, absolutely. I'm not saying don't don't express the way that you felt about what happened inside the video, just, you know, you do not have to be mean. I'm sure the majority of you that felt anger or felt mad, that wasn't the actual feeling that you were feeling. You felt frustration, you felt sorrow, you felt... <sighs> you felt something else, sadness. Um, anger itself, like, nobody just gets angry for no reason. No apparent reason. Um, there's always an emotion behind it. Like pain, frustration, sadness. Something else happens. So, I want you to realize, like, what emotion you actually felt when you saw that yesterday. So, and that's all. <laughs> I know, I know. Code, don't talk to us about emotions. You're playing lumber. We're very emotionally attached to lumber. Well, maybe. You could be. I don't know. I don't know what your stance is on lumber. But if you're here and you're watching it, awesome, amazing, thank you. All right. Um, should I try doing this backwards? Or just, just, just do it. Just do it, code. Just do it. No, no, no. Skills. <laughs> oh, I fell. I fell. I fell. Horrible, horrible landing on my part. Just get out of the truck, code. Come on. Ugh. Okay, this is not going as planned. <clears throat> you know, I have a very simple solution to this. Hold on. Load. Slot one. <laughs> Coffee time. I hope I don't lag out. Because this base is big. Ooh, it worked. Uh, can I reset at this particular point in time? Yeah, I can do that. <clears throat> Here we go. Reset. Do, 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 do. It's been a while since you guys have seen... Uh, there's a lot of new subscribers. And if you're a new subscriber and you've never seen my original base, my, my slot one base, be prepared. <laughs> Um, I do have a lot of new subscribers lately, and uh, a lot of you might not know about Samper Life, might not know about like the entire series, the background behind everything. Like, there's a lot of videos out there. I think I'm about. I, did I reach 2,000 yet? 2,000 videos. Uh, let's go to YouTube. I'm gonna go to Creator Studio. I just want to take a quick peek here. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Load. Yes, that's the one I want to load. So, 
<laughs> Video manager. There we go. Did you know Creator Studio is getting a makeover? Ah, oh, we have. We have 2,064 videos for your enjoyment and awesomeness. That is awesome. Oh, man. Like, I, I can't believe that that's... It's a lot. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Getting, getting caught up in the moment. <clears throat> 2,000 videos. It's a lot of watch time. Oh, goodness. What was that? Did you see that? Looked like there are two trailers in a row or something. All right, for those of you that like messes, uh, here you go. Uh, for those of you that don't like messes, um, here you go. <laughs> Please don't be bad at me. My base is a mess. Always has been, always will be probably. That's okay. I'm, I'm okay with it. You should be okay with it too. I'm sure I've got TNT around here somewhere too. But we're, we're just gonna go this way. Alright. Move. And B. Move. B. And move. B. Gold bridge. So much simpler code. Why didn't you do this the first couple of times? I don't know. It just usually takes a while to load, and I've been loading in my other base instead. That's all. I mean, no, no particular reason. Oh no, that was the end times tree right there. I'm just kidding. It's just a normal oak tree. Ow, ow, ow. I have an itch on my arm. I must scratch it. All right, well, let's go this way. <laughs> looking around, looking around. Exploring and adventure for all. All right, we're right over here. We can, we can check that off the list. Check. <laughs> Done. Let's go this way. Right now. We're going to head over to the swamp next. And then we're going to jump off the opposite end. Go get some TNT from Bob. Go check out the winter biome. And then we should still have enough time. And we will go. What was that? Oh, it's my, it's my ladder. I thought there was something flying off my base. I'm like, no, there's nobody here. Don't glitch. Um, <laughs> what did I say? Uh, get some TNT and then uh, we will head across the ocean. But I will head across the ocean this time. But as long as I don't find a spook tree on this side, we shall head to both places. Spook tree, spook tree, sinister wood. Or a spook tree. I got an end times axe on me. I don't see anything up there. Oh gosh. Oh, oh. Come over this way a little bit. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright, we'll head on down. Let's go take a look over here. Nothing. I mean, I'm sure we would probably see it if it were around. Again, don't know if it spawns in private servers or not. down on the ground. You guys see anything? I don't see anything. Watch it spawn inside Bob's shack. Bob, you're hiding the tree on me. <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing, Bob. Sorry. Buy some dynamite for 220? Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. 
We just need the one, right? Yeah, we won't need two. We'll be fine. I should always buy two, but I'm not going to. Here we go. I'm still worried about that Palm Island over there. The moon's coming up, the sun's going down, and nothing but normal trees all around. As the sun sets on this spooky night, our lumberjack drives on, right out of sight. I oh, thank you. Yeah, that's a uh, lumber lumberjack's ode to code. I'm sorry. I'm a little. I'm. I'm a little sleepy. It's uh, later than normal for me to be recording because I had to wait for the two-day cycles and stuff. Plus, I did a live stream. Oh my goodness! What code? What'd you do? I did some Fortnite. It was fun. Really? Yeah. Come on. Do you not take my money? I don't think an end times tree will spawn in um, <clears throat> in the underground at the end times because they're not labeled as land or such. The normal is that it up there? No, I think that's just a normal oak tree. Don't let your eyes deceive you, Code. It's just an oak tree. Oak tree. That still has me worried way out there. One little spot. Right there. Hoover's here. We could go across right now and check it out. But I mean, I, I want to wait for daytime. Because right now it's too foggy. Too dark. At least over in the, uh, the winter biome we can take a look around and see if there's anything on top of the mountains. The code went over the mountain to see what he could see. The other side of the mountain was all that he could see. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> that dynamite is lit. Get it? Boom. Really? One did not blow up. That's crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, just at first glance. Yeah, it's impossible to see. Impossible to see. Let's go this way. That way. This way. Looking back and forth, looking in the crevices. Each one of the little turns. Whoops, whoopsie, whoops, whoops, whoops. When I do find it, um, if if I don't find it within the 30 minutes, and, well, actually, if I do find it, and it's at the end of the 30 minutes, I'll make a second video. That'll be awesome. Code Find Spookwood, Episode 1. Code Retrieve Spookwood, Episode 2. Code Never Found Anything, Episode 3. Man, without this sound over here, people could go crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. I'm not like once we get up to the top. If I don't see it, I'll just come straight back down. Straight back down. Scratchy, scratch, scratch, scratch. I hope everybody had a nice day today. If you're watching this at the end of your day, if you're watching this before you're off to work or school or wherever you're going to today, um, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day. And if you're just getting home from school or work or whatever, I hope you had a good day. 
And if you didn't, I want you to know there's better days. There's always good days. There was a long time that I didn't have good days. And it made it made me feel horrible. Just having having a bad day was like devastating. But I came to find out that days are how you perceived it went. It might not be a bad day. It might have been a very good day. But you just thought it was bad because of one situation that soured the rest of the moments. So truly, if you think that you had a bad day, think about what it means, like what that day was and See if it wasn't just a moment that was bad. Whoa. And that's that's also coming from um, the YouTuber who, the, whose wife is going through cancer, whose dad had a stroke, whose like mother passed away. There's, there's a bunch of bad days, okay? And you will get a good day, and you will get better. So, don't think that this is going to define your life, having a bad day. If you had a really good day, know that there's bad days around the corner. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just sorry. If you had a good day, then good, good, good deal. Good. I'm very glad that you had a good day. Um, here's a question, like I wanted to ask. Um. Out of my viewers, how many of you can tie your shoes? Like, tie them really well. I can tie my shoes. And it took a long time, lots of practice when I was young. But finally I was able to do it. And now I can do it every day. Um, the only difference is I wear, like, Vans or Airwalk. I wear, like, a skater shoe kind of thing and I don't like tying the shoes so what I'll do is I'll tie them off to one side and then I'll tuck them in so they stay tucked and I tie them loose enough that my regular shoes are just kind of like slippers I just kind of put them on and they're really comfy I like them but uh, my son can't tie his shoes he still needs needs our help to tie his shoes and we've been practicing on it and it's okay it's okay that he can't tie his shoes because I will tie them for him and it's okay that he likes velcro because I loved velcro growing up oh, oh, oh. I'm not even sure if I was able to tie my shoes in Boy Scouts or not I think I learned it during not tying class maybe should I go off backwards right here? No, okay, we'll just, just make your way back down. Making my way downtown. No, um, make your way back down. We will go over and see Hoover. Yay! How long have we been recording for? Oh my gosh, 23 minutes. Now, I think we are going to have missed Hoover because it takes seven minutes for the boat to run. And then like another four minutes for that boat to sit on the opposite side and all that stuff. So, And then another seven minutes. Seven minutes each way. I think it's 12 minutes total with four minute travel time. Three minute travel time. Something like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no! you got to be kidding me. Okay. I'm going to turn it into two episodes. Oh, gosh. Get all of there. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. With me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as I fail to find Spookwood. I will continue on right here. But until then, love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call at the end. And we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.
Thank you.